Hello and welcome to Hollow Acres Homestead. My name is Stephanie and today we're going to talk about how to create and maintain a home apothecary. First off, what is an apothecary and why would you want to start one? An apothecary is a place where you store medical equipment, supplies, and herbal remedies and ingredients used to make those herbal remedies. Historically, apothecaries were the central place of healthcare, providing remedies, treatments, and advice for various ailments. Starting an herbal apothecary at home allows you to take control of your health and wellness using natural remedies and ingredients. Herbs were used before modern medicine, right? So they've been around for centuries and they have helped to heal a wide variety of ailments and illnesses. And having a home herbal apothecary allows you to access these benefits in the comfort of your own home. By starting your own apothecary, you'll be able to create your own natural remedies, save money on store-bought products, and reduce your exposure to harsh chemicals and artificial ingredients that you find in those store-bought products. Plus, it could be fun and a rewarding hobby, allowing you to experiment with different things and find what works best for you. So let's talk about some of the things that you're going to need to get started. Obviously, a place to store your medicine in. It could be a medicine cabinet, it can be a cabinet in your kitchen, or it could be, like me, I took this china hutch and I converted it into an apothecary. It's not the most stylish thing and only two of the doors open, but it works for now. You're also going to need a variety of herbs. Now you can grow these herbs and preserve them yourself like I did, or you can buy these herbs. There are many places where you can buy bulk herbs to fill jars in your apothecary. So you're going to need jars or something to put your herbs and medicines in. Also, whenever it comes to making tinctures, you're going to need a high-grade alcohol. You're also going to need labels and something to write on those labels. Markers, chalk markers, sharpie markers, a marker. That'll stay. It may also be a good idea for you to invest in a dehydrator. This is my dehydrator. It cost me, I think, $40 three, four years ago. I don't think that they're this cheap anymore. I do need to get another one because this is just not big enough. So this is a five tray dehydrator. This was just the very basic first model. My first go around was the dehydrator. I highly recommend getting one. Now is it really that easy? Herbs, jars, dehydrator, marker, and a place to store it? Well, yes it is. It is that easy. Here in my apothecary, I store a wide variety of different things medical supplies from over the counter to herbs that I grow in my garden and dehydrate, put in a jar, label it, and there we go. Now because I am low on space, where I, these are my cookbooks, these are not my herb books, my herbal books are all downstairs, I highly recommend that you consider looking into herbal books. Now you can go to your local library and uh, check out a wide variety of different books on herbs and herbalism. I went and grabbed my books. So this is just a few examples for you. You don't have to use any of these books. These are just what I have read through quite a few times. This is the Complete Book of Essential Oils and Aromatherapy by Valerie Ann Warwood. I will leave links below so that you can go find these if you're interested. This is Green Witchcraft, A Practical Guide to Discovering the Magic of Plants, Herbs, Crystals, and Beyond by Paige Vanderbeck. Beck? I said that right. This is the three-in-one book, Herbalist Guide to Native American Remedies by Samantha Deer. This is probably one of my favorites just because it's drawn and it just looks, I just, I love this book. This book is the Gardener's Companion to Medicinal Plants, A to Z Healing Plants of and Home Remedies by Monique Simmons, Melanie Jane Howes, and Jason Irving. This one, tried and true old textbook. This is Rodell's Illustrated Encyclopedia of Herbs. This one here, Herbal Medicine and Natural Remedies by Ann Kennedy. This counts, The Naturally Clean Home. Using herbs and essential oils and vinegars and things to clean your home naturally. Another tried and true textbook, the, the Complete Encyclopedia of Natural Healing, a comprehensive A to Z listing of common and chronic illnesses and their proven natural remedies by Gary Newley, PhD. 
And last but not least, the Smithsonian Encyclopedia of Garden Plants for Every Location. Now this isn't exactly about herbs, but it's about plants. And who doesn't love books on plants? An encyclopedia about plants. That's awesome. So these are the books that I have read and read and reread and I refer back to quite frequently. If you are going to have an apothecary, if you are wanting to learn about herbs, you gotta learn about herbs. You gotta read. Knowledge is power. Read a book. Now that we know how to start an apothecary and where to get some information, how do we maintain the apothecary? Well, it is helpful to go through periodically. I go through mine, just as an example, every three months or so. Um, it is very good to go through it monthly or every couple of months, replenish what you've used, take note either by pencil and pen, marker, paper, whatever, um, or a mental note or on your phone, if that's whatever works for you, right? Uh, take a note of what you have, things that you would like to have as you're looking through all of your books. You might find some remedies and some tinctures or some poultices, some salves, some, something that maybe you want to try to use. Create yourself an ingredients list. What do you need? How do you make it? Get yourself the recipe. Figure out what you're going to do before you do it, and that's going to help you to keep your apothecary stocked. That's really it. I, that's all I have. I encourage you to start an apothecary. Learn about herbal medicine. You can do it. I believe in you. I know you can. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and we'll see you next time here on Hollow Acres Homestead.